By now, all the ground staff in the long Go side on, have been evacuated. All staff pay attention. One minute. This is number zero, Commander. One minute countdown. All staff be prepared. One minute preparation. 50 seconds. Well, the other. 40 seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lifting off. A one or twenty seconds, uh, the escape tower will drop off. That means uh, they will be on their own. Well, it's a nice lift off. This is the outside view mounted on the launch vehicle. This is the infrared image. And this is the, the visible light. This is an optical image of yeah. the launch vehicle carrying Shenzhou 9. Every and then scale. the four boosters will be separated after the emergency escape tower has separated. And this is an inside View, view uh, the in cabin view of the three astronauts on board. Uh, we can't tell there is much vibration. It seems yeah. pretty stable. If you were on board, you'd be aware of it. <laughs> you can only feel it. You cannot see it. <laughs> um, because the vibration is not visible. Yeah. Vibration is uh, so smaller. <laughs> Uh, this is a whole process that lasts about nine minutes until it gets into orbit. Excellent. Excellent. Well, the yeah. escape tower uh, is separated from the launch vehicle. This is, of course, an animation. Yeah. But uh, we've been told the escape tower is jettisoned. The next will be separation of the boosters. And we keep hearing that the tracking and monitoring of the space vehicle it has been normal. The performance of the launch vehicle is good. While the boosters are separated from the launch vehicle, the first stage is also separated. First stage. The spacecraft. Well, the second and the first stage of launch vehicle also separated, and now we are relying on the second stage yeah. of the yeah. we we rocket. We have one main engine and four vernal engines for the second stage. The spacecraft is out of the atmosphere now. The it's next will be the separation of payload fairing. We're waiting for next is uh, separation the separation separator of, of the payload fairing. The payload fairing that covered uh, the spacecraft. Mm. Well, excellent. Yeah. Mm. That's the separation of the pairing of the payload. Yeah. Now the astronauts can see the sky through the windows. Now the window 
through the window, the astronauts can see the outside. Yeah, yeah. can see the sky. And can we say it is already yeah, out of the atmosphere? Uh, yeah, almost, yeah. almost. Yeah, almost. It's about because light. out of the atmosphere, the drag of the air will become very, very, very little. Very little, yeah. You can see the arc shock wave. Well, this is a view taken from, uh, from the second from space vehicle. This is a video camera uh, from the second stage. What we see is the a cloud beneath on the Earth. On the left-hand side is the in-cabin view of the three astronauts. Uh, they look pretty calm and in control. And tracking stations on the ground keep telling us they have found, so you found the space the vehicle. Yeah. They've been tracking and monitoring it. The performance so far has been good. Spacecraft uh, is uh, about uh, uh, the Qingdao. City. Oh. So the spacecraft is uh, above Qingdao in the east coast of China, and then it will heading uh, cool. south east towards the Pacific. Yeah. yeah. And this is an infrared image, and now we see the image taken by the camera on the spacecraft. That's already in space. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's already in space. The reader and optical observers are tracking very normally. In about uh, six minutes, we will see the uh, yeah. Solar array deploy by then. Mm. After the separation of the second yeah. stage. Yeah, of the separation of the second stage comes first. Solar array will be deployed just uh, after Shinjuna enter orbit. The next action of the vehicle this will be the shutdown of the main engine of the second stage, and then the four vernier engines. Mm. After that will be the separation of the second <laughs> stage. <laughs> Well, high-ranking officials from the central authority are now inside the Jiuquan Command Center uh, to oversee the whole liftoff process. Among them are China's top legislator Wu Bangguo and others. USB, the second stage will work much longer than the first stage. We can see that the flight date is uh, very accurate mm. comparing with the theoretical one. Now it's um, against Shanxi province. Oh, nowhere yeah. near Qingdao. Yeah, it's very it's near. Still, it's, it's still above China mainland. Still in the mainland. From the two-dimensional ground track, we can see that it is in the TTC range of Weinan ground station. This is video from the main engine of the second stage. Now the second main stage. Yeah, the main engine off. have been shut off. The four vernier engine will still working. In order to keep the spacecraft safe, more than two uh, ground stations can mm. track it uh, at the same time. Mm. So we heard that at, at a single yeah. moment there must be two tracking stations at work to monitor its trajectory. Yeah. The four vernier engines will be shut down shortly. Now the vehicle is near the east coast of China. When is the moment that they will experience zero G? When all the engines are turned off. Once all the engines are shut off, they'll be 
is yeah. floating free. It, but currently, they're still undergoing 3G. The, no, 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 just it is, is more than 3G. But now uh, it's less than 3G because the main it's engine has already shut, shut off. off oh, yeah. yeah, maybe it's yeah, the Vernier engines don't yeah. produce a lot yeah. of thrust. It's nearly success. At the boost uh, stage, the is <laughs> maybe more than 3G. Yeah. So when the, when when the first stage come they off, they they won't feel uh, such a rough ride. Yeah. Right. Uh, Yuan Wang 5 has captured the vehicle. It is now in the TTC range of Yuan Wang 5 tracking ship. That means uh, the spaceship is above the ocean. Now, the separation uh, of the vehicle. Well, the separation of the main engine and the spaceship, that means Chengdu 9, is totally on its own to the orbit. Mm. And the astronauts just uh, wave hands to us. The next will be extension of the solar panels. Shenzhou 9 is uh, on orbit now. You can see that they have already experienced well, they zero join, G. join their hands in kind of a celebration gesture. Yuan Wang 5 have captured the vehicle. Yuan Wang 5 is located in Pacific. Uh, yeah, Pacific Ocean. It's near the coast of the China. And now here is inside the command and control center. Of course, the scientists and engineers congratulated uh, one another for the successful launch. Uh, now Shenzhou 9 is on its own to get into the orbit. Uh, the initial orbit is an uh, uh, elliptical, elliptical orbit. one with the parity of, of, of about 200 kilometers and the apogee of about uh, 330 kilometers. And uh, it will be traveling in this orbit for uh, five circles. About uh, two five. days. No, no, not two no. days. Mm. Uh, it will uh, enter a uh, circular to... orbit of 330 kilometers uh, within several hours. Because uh, oh. Monday, uh, on the, Monday, the, the solar panels have doing. already unfolded. On Monday, Shenzhou 9 will be joining Tiangong 1 yeah. uh, orbital module. It, it will chasing. Tiangong one, one circle after one circle. Yeah. It will meet uh, the uh, Tiangong at uh, 225 this, uh, this is the deployment the of the yeah. solar yeah. array yeah. on Shenzhou 9. That means uh, energy is on, uh, it has power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shenzhou 9 has successfully unfolded its solar panel. It is uh, powered on, it is on its orbit. We can say it is a success for the launch. The commander has reported this. It's very successful. And now the three astronauts are essentially in space. They will be traveling around the Earth, nine circles a day. Uh, uh, 15. 15, uh, 15 circles, circles a day. A day. Uh, yeah. It will be uh, do the first uh, maneuver for each uh, circling around the Earth. Uh, the fifth or sixth? Yeah. It will do the first maneuver at uh, yeah. to enter a circular uh, circle. Yeah. Now we are waiting for the analysis of the initial orbit date. And also the checking on the astronaut's conditions. Yes. Of the whole vehicle, all subsystems. And also, the antenna of the data relay satellite will be. Yeah. Uh, just exploring. about uh, one hour later. One hour later? Yeah. The uh, antenna. Uh, the data relay satellite. Now you see weightless. Will be work. Well, Liu Yang just play with her handbook. The <laughs> pen is floating. <laughs> but it's yeah. her first time in space. <coughs> 
<laughs> she must be having a good time adapting.